Hey everybody, what's going on? And today we're going to talk about The Conjuring 2. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So, The Conjuring 2 is directed by James Wan, and I love all of his movies, like all of them, except for two. One I didn't see, Insidious Chapter 2, and I saw Fast 7, really didn't care for that one. But as far as the rest of his films, Saw, that knocked me on my ass when I was in the theater, I loved that. I loved Dead Silence, I thought that was a beautiful horror flick with all those scary puppets and whatnot. I also like Dead, uh, no, not Dead Silence, Death Sentence with Kevin Bacon, that was really good too. Insidious scared me, and like I said, I did not see Insidious 2. Uh, I didn't care for Fast 7 and The Conjuring that scared me a lot too so my expectations were pretty high going into The Conjuring 2 because I really did like The Conjuring Dead Silence and also Insidious. Now I remember I did not see The Conjuring the first one in the theaters I think I was a scary cat and just about me and horror films I'm not the biggest horror junkie I am a scary cat and also horror films for the most part just suck they're just really not good films they're cheap and uh, the studio doesn't care they usually dump them off in january and february just to make a small profit they usually are not that great but it's just something about the way that james wan does his scary movies that actually scares me because a lot of horror movies they just don't scare me i don't like them anyway and then they don't they're not scary but for something about the way he directs is that his his movies really do scare me now what i loved about the conjuring 2 is it was an extremely slow build that just kept giving you more and more as the film kept going along but it was just an entire mystery until the very end there was just a great reveal of of just ridiculous scariness and you thought that was it but then the film the film the film flips it on you and gives you a whole nother scene and just makes things a lot scarier and that's why i did like the first film and conjuring 2 i enjoyed that one a lot more as well what i really do like is is how the film just starts off giving you the intro and it's telling you two stories at once and you don't even realize that until you get to the midpoint of the film first you're getting to know the couple that you know from the first film and they say that this is based on a true story and you just get to know a little bit about their background and what's just going on in their world and what makes them tick and what makes them talk but all the way over here in england you have a whole nother family that's just trying to do this thing do their thing and live happy lives but they're just being haunted by this ghost and you would think the way i just described that that the film is disjointed because they're trying to tell two stories at the same time but for some reason it flows and you don't even realize that it's bouncing back and forth and that's just something that it goes to direction uh hence james Wan and why i was enjoying the film so much but even when you get to the midpoint of the film, you see that these two stories are coming together and it's like, wow, I've already been watching the movie for an hour and I was into it and now I feel like the movie is just now starting. And when it starts, it starts out very well. It really does. I was enjoying it with the ghost, but while I did enjoy The Conjuring 2, my overall gripe about the whole film is it just did not have the powerful punch, the powerful impact that the last film had because once these two stories in the conjuring two come together and you have the 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 ghost chasers or whatever you want to call them patrick wilson and uh, his lovely wife lorraine that's not her real name in real life that's her character name you, you you know they're they're trying to tackle the ghost and see exactly what's going on and what i'm trying what i'm trying to say is at one point in the story you realize that the film is not going to get any scarier than it just was the previous scene and I just kind of feel like they blew their low a little too early with the big reveal of what the ghost is, where they come from, why they're there in the first place, and what all this paranormal activity means. And now, to give the film credit, because I love to give credit where credit is due, The Conjuring 2 has done something that so many horror films in the past to, to where I can remember have not done or failed at drastically and that is putting comedy within the high tension and it's just a real life organic moment to where a lot, if you're just in a house and all this paranormal activity stuff is going down what are you going to do most likely get the hell out of the house as fast as you can and I don't want to spoil it here but the way that the film did that it was so freaking hilarious they did it twice back to back and it was just so creative and i loved the whole auditorium that i was at was just laughing out loud with with laughter and joy and tears because it was just so funny and you could relate like hell yeah 
I would do the exact same thing there. And what I also like about it is the film is filled with a bunch of children that are in the forefront of this paranormal activity. And a lot of these films is they can go tell their mom, their dad, their guardian or whatever. Hey, mom, there's monsters under my bed or there's a monster in my tent over here. And the adults are going to be like, oh, Tim, you're having nightmares. What are you doing? Go to bed. And that can linger on for 45 minutes. But no, the film did not do that. Well, they did, but in a small way, but it, it, it made sense and it it was just cohesive and it just flowed to where it, it didn't waste time that it was like okay we, we got ghosts what are we going to do about it i mean what do we know as fact and let's just take that and run with it and i really like how they did that with the characters and that just made me get on board with them even more than i already was i mean and these are kids usually kids in movies like this can become very annoying but no the kids are not annoying at all there was a point in time to where they just want to push back their shoulders and be like hey go no i i'm not gonna let you bully me and i was cheering them on as well as everybody else in the auditorium i mean i forgot the character's name but we're just gonna call him timmy but there was actually people in the theater that i saw this so they was like yeah go timmy yeah yeah go timmy go go and i was along with them like yeah go timmy go and it just it, it made it real fun i mean i also will say this as a side note is that the conjuring 2 this film here this movie is something that you can go see on a Friday night opening uh, opening release day um, with a packed auditorium. And it's just fun that way to experience this movie with everyone else to see what they're on and all and gassing about. I mean, it was, a, it was a really fun time. And I like what they did with the story. I like what they did with the characters. It just honestly, with the reveal, I felt that they revealed it too early on and that it just wasn't scary. When I left The Conjuring 2, when I left Insidious, me personally, I was scared. I was thinking about all these ghosts on my way home. I did not want to sleep at home that night by myself. I was probably calling someone like, hey, what you doing? What you come over and spend a night with me or something, blah, blah, blah. But I did not have that same effect with The Conjuring 2. Is it a bad movie? Absolutely not. Is it a good movie? Absolutely, yes. And I think that you should go see it. It's just, it wasn't scary. It was an entertaining film for me. It just wasn't scary. Now, if I had to rate The Conjuring out of a... Um, if I had to rate The Conjuring 2 out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Yes, a 7.5 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen The Conjuring 2? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me a thumbs up. Since you watch this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you become one of my subscribers and get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. Also, you can find me at other social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. And guys, share the video. I promise you, I pinky promise you i am not going to get mad if you share the video i promise i will keep it between you and me but anyway guys thanks again for tuning in for my opinion slash review of the conjuring 2 and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace